Hello and welcome to Maths by Saas. This is my first lesson of D3, chapter number 6, exercise 60, that is about parallel and perpendicular lines. Before going to the lesson, there are some key terms that uh, we have to understand that uh, how to decide the two lines are parallel when uh, you are drawing the graph and the lines you are finding at the certain distance apart, they are not intersecting each other, then the lines uh, will be parallel by looking at the graph but if uh, we have not drawn the graph then how will we decide the lines are parallel we have to find the gradient of both the lines and if, if the gradient of both the lines is same then the lines will be parallel then coming to the next important point that what is the condition for two lines to be perpendicular okay the two lines will be perpendicular if the product of the gradient is minus one Okay, and then if the lines are parallel, then the gradients are same or if the gradients are same, then the lines will be parallel. These four points are really important points for the understanding of parallel and perpendicular lines. Let's move to exercise 60, basic level, question number 1. And question 1 says, find the gradient of a line parallel to this given line okay if we uh, look at the first line which is given in the question that is y equals to 8x plus 5 y equals to 8x plus 5 we know that the standard and the general form of equation of non-vertical line is y equals to mx plus c where m the coefficient of x is the gradient if we compare the given line y equals to 8x plus y with y equals to mx plus c this is expressed in the standard form so by comparison we can see the coefficient of x here is 8 so for the first line y equals to 8x plus 5 8x plus 5 the coefficient of x here is 8 so gradient of this line gradient of this line is 8 very easy questions okay and uh, they can come in paper 1 of O level examination so you have to watch uh, this lesson carefully coming to the second line the second line is y equals to minus 1 by 2 x and minus 7 again the line is expressed in the standard form of non-vertical line and here the coefficient of x is minus 1 by 2 coefficient of x is minus 1 by 2 so m of this line is minus 1 by 2 i hope really easy question and let's move to the question number two and in question two the question says find the gradient of a line perpendicular to the given lines okay here it's important that we have to find the gradient of a line which is perpendicular to this given line okay so uh, coming to the condition we know that two lines will be perpendicular if m1 multiplied by m2 equals to minus 1 or m2 the gradient of second line is equal to minus 1 over m1 this is the relationship between the gradients of two perpendicular lines if you look at the given line the given line is expressed in standard form y is equal to mx plus c so m1 of this line or gradient of this line is 3 now gradient of line perpendicular to this line now gradient of line gradient of line perpendicular this is a symbol for perpendicular to this line this line i'm going really slow because this is the introductory lesson so that my students can understand this lesson properly m1 which is 3 3 multiplied by m2 equals to minus 1 or m2 the gradient i have to shift uh, this 3 to other side minus 1 by 3 so the required gradient is minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 this is the gradient of the line which is perpendicular to this given line coming to the next condition in the next condition the given equation is y equals to minus 3 by 4x plus 6 i hope x is missing here in the book uh, there has to be x over here now uh, the question uh, here the coefficient of 
x is given line has a gradient minus 3 by 4 uh, let it be m1 and now the gradient of line which is perpendicular to this line m1 multiplied by m2 equals to minus 1 minus uh, 3 by 4 into m2 equals to minus 1 look if you want if your algebra is good your integers are strong minus sign can go with this minus sign and now we are left with 3m2 3m2 by 4 equals to 1 or m2 i have to go for cross multiplication uh, equals to 4 or m2 equals to 4 by 3 minus time the multiplicative inverse okay i hope you are clear about uh, this question and let's move to question number 4 and question 4 says that the coordinates of three points are a 1 1 b minus 1 and 4 and c 6 and k find the value of k if a b is perpendicular to b c uh, here it's important to understand uh, that what is the requirement of question question says the term the expression that that begins after find how what uh, that is the requirement of question and here the expression the question that begins from uh, afterward find the value of k and the condition is a b perpendicular to b c so recall that when two lines are perpendicular to each other what is the relationship between their gradients so how are we going to begin the solution because a b is perpendicular to perpendicular to b c therefore gradient uh, m of a b multiplied by gradient of bc equals to minus 1 it's really important to give such references to the examiner so that examiner can understand your working easily now what we have to do we have to find the gradient of ab carefully uh, gradient of ab and we know uh, that formula for the gradient is y2 minus y1 y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 okay now i have to find the gradient of a b carefully 4 minus 1 4 minus 1 upon minus 1 minus 1 and this gives me 3 upon minus 2 or it can come minus 3 by 2 and now gradient of b c b c okay so k b and c y2 k minus 4 upon 6 and minus and minus 1 and this can take the form k minus 4 upon 6 plus 1 and which is equal to k minus 4 upon 7 now we have the answer of gradient of a b gradient of b c now what we have to do is we have to put the values in this condition so minus 3 by 2 multiplied by okay k minus 4 by 7 equals to minus 1 now what we can do is that minus sign can go with this minus sign and i will left with k minus 3 times k minus 4 upon 14 7 times 2 is 14 equals to 1 shift 14 to other side and this equation will take the form 3k minus 12 equals to 14 apply distributive property here okay and now in order to get value of k what we have to do we have to shift 12 to other side 3k equals to 12 plus 14 and 3k equals to 26 and k equals to 26 by 3 and now what i have to do i have to divide 26 by 3 3 8s are 24 3 9s are 27 3 8s are 24 uh, is closer to this number and i will left with 2 so 8 whole 2 by 3 so the value of k is 8 whole 2 by 3 i hope you are clear about 
the conditions that when two lines are parallel that what is the relationship between their gradients and if the product of the gradients of two lines is minus 1 then what is the relationship between the lines for better understanding of the next lesson it's really important to watch understand and grasp these conditions properly please watch my lessons like share and subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get the notification of every lesson in time thank you very much